Maluhia Arabic, Malwikehit is the leaves of Corcoris oletorius commonly known as the Arab's mallow, Nalta jute, or Tosa jute. It is used as a vegetable. It is popular in Middle East, East African and North African countries. Malakia is rather bitter, and when boiled, the resulting liquid is a thick, highly mucilaginous broth, it is often described as slimy, rather like cooked okra. Mulakia is generally eaten cooked, not raw, and is most frequently turned into a kind of soup or stew, typically bearing the same name as the vegetable in the local language. Traditionally mulakia is cooked with chicken or at least chicken stock for flavor and is served with white rice, accompanied with lemon or lime. <inaudible> Origins While most scholars are of the opinion that Maluhia's origins lie in ancient Egypt, there is evidence that India is the source of the related species Corcoris capsularis, which is also used for food as well as fiber. <inaudible> Egyptian cuisine As used in Egyptian cuisine, molokia, Egyptian Arabic pronunciation, molo zege, is prepared by removing the central spine from the leaves, and then chopping the leaves finely with garlic and coriander. The dish generally includes some sort of meat, in Egypt this is usually poultry such as chicken, or rabbit, but lamb is preferred when available, particularly in Cairo. Cooks in Alexandria often opt to use shrimp in the soup, while Port Said is famous for using fish. Molokia was consumed in ancient Egyptian cuisine, where the name, Molokia, is thought to have originated from. Many Egyptians consider Molokia to be the national dish of Egypt along with full medames and kushari. Preparation The Egyptian version differs in texture and preparation from the Syrian, Lebanese version. The Molokia leaves are picked off the stem, often communally with the women sitting with vast amounts of tall stemmed branches picking it, placing the leaves on a large sheet cloth material left to completely dry for later use. Cooking the leaves are chopped fine, often with a mezzaluna, and then fried with coriander, garlic and often chili peppers or capsicum. This cooking process prevents them from becoming slimy. It is then boiled with large chunks of meat, such as boneless chicken, rabbit, beef or lamb with bone. Serving the soup is served on white rice or with a side of Egyptian flatbread The bread is normally used to scoop up the soup, but it can also be cut up into small pieces and submerged in the soup. The dish is often accompanied with an assortment of pickled vegetables known as torshi or makalal in Egypt. Levantine cuisine The standard molokia dish in the Levant is prepared by cooking a meat of some sort in a separate pot by boiling. Later onions and garlic are cooked to a simmer, then water and chicken stock cubes are added to form a broth. After boiling, the cooked chicken or meat and molokia leaves are added and further cooked another 15 minutes. Also, in northern Lebanon, a dish called molokia bizite is made using fresh leaves and shoots of the nalta jute plant, cooked in olive oil, onions, garlic, tomatoes and chili peppers. It is a popular summer side dish especially in Minya Dania and Akar districts. Bedouin have an old tradition of cooking a different version of the dish. A whole chicken is cut open, the intestines removed, and the innards stuffed with herbs, spices and raw rice then sewn shut with thick thread. The chicken is then boiled to create the broth for the molokia soup which, after preparation, is served as five separate components, the molokia soup, Arabic flat bread, the chicken stuffed with flavored rice, additional plain rice and a small bowl with a mixture of lemon juice and sliced chili. The soup is mixed with rice and lemon juice according to taste, while the chicken is eaten on a separate plate. Kenyan cuisine. In Kenya, the dish is known as muter lurigoli, marere luia, apith luo, mrenda gikuyu, embu, meru, and several other native language names. It is a very popular vegetable dish among communities in the western region Vihiga, Kakamega, Busha, trans Nzoya and Bungoma counties and in Nyanza region Kisamu, Saya, Homa Bay, Kisi, Migori and Nyamira counties. Both regions are in the area around Lake Victoria. The jute leaves are separated from the stems, washed and then boiled in lightly salted water with ligati a raw form of soda bicarbonate of soda, or munyu traditional plant-based salt. 
The leaves are boiled with other leafy vegetables such as licuvi Vigna unguiculata cowpea leaves or mito to reduce its sliminess and help soften the other vegetable leaves. In some cases, after boiling for about 30 minutes, the vegetables are stewed with tomatoes and onions in oil. There are several general ways to prepare the muter and more ways in which it is served. Spices such as curry, pepper, masala, or coriander are optional. Muter is served with ugali, a staple stiff cooked cereal meal, and can be accompanied with meat or chicken. Topic: <inaudible> Tunisian cuisine. In Tunisia, the dish is generally prepared quite differently from the Egyptian method. The leaves, already separated from the stems, are dried, then ground to produce a very fine powder and stored in jars or other tightly closed containers. In Tunisian cooking, mulukia, or malukia, takes five to seven hours to prepare, which is often done to halfway in the evening and completed in the morning. The powder is prepared with olive oil and some tomato paste into a sauce, not soup, and big chunks of chuck beef are often added halfway through cooking. The dark green sauce simmers on low heat and is left to thicken to the consistency of tomato sauce. The sauce is served in small deep plates with a piece of beef and eaten with preferably white hearty French or Italian bread. In certain regions where beef is not common, lamb is used but cooks for a much shorter time. Cypriot cuisine In Cyprus the dish is known as molawiya. It is popular among the Turkish Cypriots. The jute leaves are cultivated and grown in the spring months leading up to the summer wherein they are harvested and the leaves are separated from the stem and dried whole. Cooked in a tomato-based broth with onions and garlic. Lamb on the bone or chicken with bone may also be added. For optimal results lemon and potato are also used to help keep the consistency from becoming too mucilaginous or slimy. It is served with a nice broth consistency with sourdough bread. <laughs> West African cuisines The leaf is a common food in many tropical West African countries. It is believed that the drip tips on the leaves serve to shed excess water from the leaf from the heavy rains in the tropics. In Sierra Leone it is called kren kri, crane crane or crane crane, and is eaten in a palm oil sauce served with rice or cassava fufu a traditional food made from cassava, or is steamed and mixed into rice just before eating a non-palm oil sauce. Among the Yorubas in southwest Nigeria, it is called yudu and served with cooked yam flour Amala. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Haitian cuisines. In Haiti, the leafy green dish is commonly known as lalo and is traditionally cooked with or without meat. When considering meat, Haitians utilize beef or pork shoulder. Seafood such as blue crabs, shrimp or snow crab legs are also options. It is traditionally served with white rice. Nutrition The leaves are rich in beta-carotene, iron, calcium, vitamin C and more than 32 vitamins, minerals and trace elements. The plant has a potent antioxidant activity with a significant alpha tocopherol equivalent vitamin E. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ancient references. The word for the plant is found in ancient Mediterranean languages such as Arabic and Greek. Cognates of the word include ancient Greek malachi or molosh modern Greek malocha maloha, modern Arabic, milwikehit maluhia and modern Hebrew, milwai malukia, al-Hakim by Amr Allah banned maluhia sometime during his reign CE. It is claimed he thought that the dish would lead women to debauchery. While the ban was eventually lifted after the end of his reign, the Druze, who hold al-Hakim by Amr Allah in high regard, continue to respect the ban, and do not eat maluhia of any kind to this day. See also List of African dishes <laughs> Notes <laughs>